What's good YouTube, it's your boy Musalos Fitness. Today I'm going to be discussing to you guys about the one thing that is hurting your muscle growth, your gains, making you look wham diddy wham, making you look juicy and just swole and just uh, like the Hulk. Um, this one thing is very simple but a lot of people don't really pay attention simply because they're too busy doing it and not what they're supposed to do. Well, we're going to talk about that, but before that, I'm going to have to take you guys back all the way to earlier today when I did my shoulders and arms workout, and then we're going to come back here and then carry on this conversation. Let's do this. I'm a young Spanish nigga from the projects. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it, who's going to stop it? progress what's going on so that one thing that is hurting you guys and hurting your progress is bad form form is so important when it comes to working out i can't stress this enough i have been working out for over 10 years and touch wood i have never had an injury why because my father my daddy then told me form musa form Make sure your form's right. Even if I was trying to lift heavier, I'd be like, no, 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 wait. Get the technique right first and then start adding weight nice and slowly, which is the way it should be. Forget your ego. No one cares about the numbers you're lifting in the gym. People care about the way you be looking. And I was like, hmm, that is pretty interesting. But yet yeah, it's true. People don't, it's okay. The ones that ego lift, ego lift are the ones that really care about your numbers the benching you're doing in the gym blah 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 blah. but the people that just want to look good feel good they care about how you're training like how are you training what are you eating all that kind of stuff that they're, they're focused on that and bad form is mainly due to ego a lot of people take their egos to the gym when they should be leaving it at home where it should be it shouldn't even be at home it should be in the washing so you can go wash it clear it out and come back and without an ego um but that's not the case we're living in a world where everyone's trying to compete with each other i want to be like this guy i want to be like that guy blah, blah 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 you are hurting yourself simply because bad form leads to injury injury leads to not going to the gym for three maybe six months depends on how bad the injury is i've always been an advocate of train properly guys train properly make that steady progressive overload i don't know why everyone's in a rush I'm, I'm trying to I'm planning to live until I'm old in it so and I want to train my whole life so for me it don't make sense to be ego lifting then be out of the gym and then having to come back start again it don't make sense you know and bad form is hurting a lot of people in the gains because if you're not doing the exercise right how do you expect that muscle to grow like if you're trying to work your biceps and you're out here training your shoulders your triceps and all that stuff and actually not training the biceps it's like what are we doing like what is it that we're actually trying to do here do you know what i mean are you guys are you guys feeling me no yes no either way i'm gonna carry on talking <laughs> one thing i've always done is whenever i'm training with someone that's new to the gym or something like that i always go to them yo go at your own pace do not try to do what i am doing i have been training for a very long time and i lift pretty heavy compared to the average new beginner type of goer so don't be following me go at your own pace but if i see you and I know that you can do more, 
I'll test you. I'll try and test you like in your last couple of reps. I'll be like, you know what? Let's up the weight a little bit. Let's do it for your last set. See how it works. But I'll still make sure you've got at least two, three solid sets of correct form. And the last one, we'll, we'll test the waters and see. Do you have it all? You know what I mean? Always, guys, please. I'm begging you guys, correct form. Because if you don't have correct form, one, like I said in the beginning, it's going to lead to injury. If not injury, it's going to lead to imbalance. And a lot of people are always like, why is this arm bigger than the other? Why is my shoulder, you know, all these complaints, why is it bad form? You're not training right. You're training wrong. And oh my God, let me get, don't even get me started with the whole Instagram thing where people are trying to create new exercises. It's like, why? Like, why? Why, why try to create new exercises? It doesn't mean you're going to get faster gains. If anything, you're going to hurt yourself because it's stupid. A lot of this exercise I see on Instagram, I'm like, that just looks stupid to me. This is the thing. When people do the whole single arm exercises, yeah, a lot of people go straight to the stronger arm. Go straight for the stronger arm and do as many as they can with a stronger arm. And if the stronger arm can do 10, and then you go to the weaker arm and you go and do 8, what do you think is going to happen? imbalance but people don't think like that how about start with your weak hand try and get the weak hand up to the level of the strong hand and once it's all balanced and everything because this one's not going to get smaller once it's all balanced and everything then maybe maybe then maybe not always but maybe you can start going back to the single arms and the other one can keep up but still i would say start off with a weaker hand it just makes more sense to me Maybe some of you disagree. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section and we can discuss it some more. One of the amazing reasons why correct form is so important is because you then and only then can you get that mind and muscle connection. And I know some people don't believe in this shit and some people are like, oh, mind and muscle is so hard. It took me years. It took me personally years to get mind and muscle connection right. Like even now I'm still, you know, I've got, I've, I can connect to all the muscles in my body. Um very well but i still feel like i can take it to another level um extra focus but yeah when you have bad form you can't focus on that muscle because you're too busy trying to push that heavy weight or just you're just doing the exercise completely wrong where other muscles are getting involved when they're not supposed to so when you have that correct form it's beautiful magic starts happening you start seeing your body changing ways that you never thought it could and you're like wait 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 so this whole time i've been ego lifting trying to lift like this guy trying to lift like that guy when really and truly i was just hurting myself Correct form now is like, why am I getting bigger? How come things are working? Form, form is so important. Of course, there's other things that get involved, but this is the one thing that I feel like not many people talk about on YouTube. You don't really hear people always say like bad form. If you had bad form, you're not gonna make gains the way you're supposed to make gains. Yes, you might make little gains and you think that, that's the, that you're training the right way. If you're a newbie, yes, if you train with bad form, you're still gonna make gains because you're a newbie. Hello, but if you're an advanced person and like you're like, oh, okay, six months I've been training hard, pushing, 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 and nothing's changed. Form is probably the main reason. If not, you're not doing progressive overload. That's the only two things that I can think of why you're not making any more new gains. Um, of course, it's harder when you're advanced. It takes longer and more patience, but then you need to be clever with your programming, pyramiding, and all that stuff. Um, strength training, you need to be smart. Um, in order to make new gains but yeah guys this is all i wanted to say i don't want to talk too much and keep you here for too long please fix the bad form there's plenty of tutorials here on youtube to help you guys out um ask someone in the gym if you're a newbie go up to them or just say excuse me like can you show me don't be afraid no one people in the gym are actually willing to help i know some of us can look intimidating i know some of you can be like oh he looks a bit mean but trust me we're all soft teddy bears at heart we're all there to help as well and we're not going to judge you because you are actually in the gym putting in the work putting in the hours and we appreciate that so yeah if you have any questions or anything don't be shy to go up to someone in the gym and say excuse me like can you show me how to do this exercise right i'm sure they'll spend that one minute quickly showing you if not they'll probably guide you throughout your whole workout <laughs> um, some of us can get carried away with trying to help new people um we're all like little personal trainers out here um but yeah again you have to be careful who you ask um but i'm sure you probably go it's not always the biggest person in the gym that knows how to train right um but there is a reason why they are that big as well <laughs> um but yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um if you did smash the thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe if you have any suggestions on video topics please let me know and i will catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life Peace.